John, Phoenix is one of the fastest growing markets in the nation with home prices there soaring due to very low supply. But the Howard Hughes Corporation just announced its purchase of 7,000 acres 30 miles outside the city for a master plan community of 100,000 homes and 55 million square feet of commercial space. Joining me now is the CEO of Howard Hughes, David O'Reilly. David, thanks so much for being here. Thrilled to be here. Thanks for having me. I want to ask first, we see huge demand from both renters and buyers. What share of these 100,000 homes do you expect will end up as rentals or for for sale homes? Well, we think the vast majority of what we're developing will be for sale. And with 37,000 acres, this community is roughly three times the size of the island of Manhattan. Those 100,000 homes, 300,000 residents and 55 million square feet of commercial development are going to be an incredible, small, self-contained city of its own. We expect to have not just the 300,000 residents, but one and a half jobs per rooftop within Douglas Ranch. And we'll be selling our first thousand lots early next year. Now, you're selling those lots, obviously, to the big name builders. And when you talk to any builder out there, they talk about supply constraints. They talk about rising costs for materials. We just saw lumber start to spike again. You'll be working with big names like Toll Brothers, Lennar, Taylor Morrison to build these homes. Are you concerned about the pricing and what that's going to mean for this, especially if they pass it on as to the buyers? Well, as the largest, as the nation's largest master plan community developer, we are year in and year out among the largest sellers of land to home builders every single year. And as you mentioned, we're partnering with all of these home builders, large public builders, small private builders, delivering them the precious resource they need to execute. Today, we see that supply demand imbalance at, at, at its height. There are very few developed lots available. Phoenix is a perfect example. There's a shortage on the ground in Phoenix of 630,000 housing units and less than 40,000 finished lots on the ground to meet that demand. That supply demand imbalances put pricing into the hands of home builders. Home builders now that are reporting higher gross margins in 2020 and in 2019, despite the price increases and the supply constraint issues that they've been battling like whack-a-mole for the entire year. I don't see that subsiding. We see 2022 continuing on that trend. We see right. wider margins for home builders. We see them paying full price for our land because the demand that's coming from new residents that want to move into these cities like Phoenix, but David, Las Vegas, David, are incredible. Uh, welcome. Uh, what about interest rates, rising interest rates as part of that picture? Might they not dampen the home buyers, um, you know, availability of capital to spend uh, if, if, as those rise and perhaps uh, affect demand on that side, even as costs, as Diana mentioned, are rising? I think it's a great question. And the natural knee-jerk reaction is higher rates impacts affordability, home sales taper. I don't think that's the case. And in the past two cycles where we saw gradually increasing rates and well-telegraphed rate increases from the Fed, it's actually spurred demand. As home buyers that were thinking about moving a year from now, two years from now, move quicker because they want to get ahead of those rising rates. Again, those are subject to seeing gradual expected rate increase. When you see a rate spike, as we saw in October and November of 2019, that can pause home sales. And for 60 days, home sales really cooled off. Once buyers adjusted to that new rate environment starting in January and February of 2020, we saw that demand come right back to the market. But in big picture, if we see gradually increasing rates the way most of us are expecting throughout 2022, I think we'll see more home buyers into the market early in the year, driving further growth within the home building market.